Good afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. More than a thousand Filipinos who are hoping to catch a free ride on the government's Hatid Tulong program are still waiting for that ride at the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex in Manila. Let's check in on their situation with Romel Lopez. He's reporting to us live. Romel, what is the status of the LSIs right now? Yes, uh, just about 1,500 locally stranded individuals or LSIs are still waiting here at the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex, hoping to be, to be included in the government's Hatid Tulong program. Uh, aside uh, from the warm body scrub in the facility, trash can also be seen everywhere. Many of the LSIs have nowhere else to go, so they decided to wait out here at the complex. They are also sharing a common bathroom. I uh, recall that at least 16 individuals who got stuck here have uh, tested positive with COVID-19. This news al alarm some of the LSIs here. They feared getting infected considering their situation here at the complex. In an interview with One News Agenda, Hatid Tulong Program Lead Convener Joseph Incabo said that these individuals have been brought to isolation centers. Incabo ad admitted that they were surprised with the influx of the LSIs over the weekend. He said that the previous Hatid Tulong recipients supposedly urged their friends and relatives to avail of the said program. For the viral photos of the drenched stranded travelers at the Rizal Stadium, Incabo admitted that they were unprepared. Here is the part of in Cabo's interview. Mga ginawa ng mga ibang LSIs, nung nakatanggap sila ng mga advisory, nagpasapasahan po sila sa mga ibang LSIs na kakilala nila and inviting them at their own initiative na pupunta sa uh, Rizal Memorial. At yun po ang kalalabasan ay marami po tayong walk-ins. Nangyari na po namin, hindi po kami nakahanda Nung bigla na po kami inunan at lahat po ng mga tao ay gusto magsilo, mag, to, to, to seek shelter no? sa, oh. sa state pool. Then, uh, yun nga, then uh, nagsisiksika na po. Lahat po ay papunta na sa, sa entrance. Charles, the program convener is also asking the public for understanding. He also vowed that all of the LSIs will be processed today so that tomorrow, finally, they will be transported back to their provinces. Charles? Thank you. That was Romel Lopez reporting live from the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. Senator Mick Zubiri says his swab test came out negative for COVID-19. The lawmaker explains that the positive result he got on Monday may have been caused by a remnant of dead virus cells. Zubiri was supposed to physically attend President Duterte's sauna yesterday, but chose to undergo self-quarantine instead. The Foreign Affairs Department temporarily shuts down its main office along Rojas Boulevard in Manila while it assesses current public health and safety measures. The DFA reminds the public that other consular offices remain open. And the COVID-19 vaccine developed by the U.S. National Institutes of Health and Moderna enters final testing. Some 30,000 Americans received shots in different locations on Monday. It will be months before results trickle in and that there's no guarantee that the vaccine will ultimately work against SARS-CoV-2. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.